Let's go build us a Bronco. Welcome to another episode of Mop One Three Garage. I'm Chris, and this is uh, my garage. So, like most 302 heads, we've broken a lot of bolts off on a lot of intakes, taking motors in and out. And this was no exception. This one, actually, these heads came with the truck. And uh, when the intake was taken off with these, the same back two bolts that normally break off broke off with these. And I was assuming at this point that I was going to take it to the machine shop and have the machine shop drill them out. And uh, from what I could gauge, it was somewhere between $40 and $60 to redrill them and retap them. So I thought I'd at least give my hand at it, get these out in order to save a little bit of money on that. Plus, I didn't want to have these heads machined. Um, these are going to be stock heads. And I'm going to do a spring upgrade on them and use them for a little bit and then probably switch them out for an aftermarket pair of aluminum heads. So I didn't want to put any money into them if I didn't have to. These intake bolts come off at an angle. So the head is like this and the bolt is like that. So if there's not a lot of stud hanging out, it's really hard to weld a nut onto the end of them to pull them out because the nut is too close to the metal and it won't actually turn. So in this case, I decided to use an old screwdriver and kind of do the same thing. And uh, you probably have an old screwdriver laying around. Uh, and that's what we use to pull these bolts out. So let me show you kind of the procedure. It was, it's more than just the welding part, I think, that helped us out here. We actually pre-soaked the bolts from the backside. And then we shocked the bolts with cold water, heat and cold water, uh, which I don't know if it works, but we did it anyway. So we basically, we soaked the bolts with penetrant from the backside. And I'll show you how we did that. Uh, we shocked the bolts several times using a welder and water. Um, we heated the hole from the backside using a torch and then shocked the bolt one more time right before we extracted it. Uh, and then we also welded uh, an old screwdriver to the bolt so we could get the attitude that we wanted to on the bolt uh, without hitting the head. So uh, we did it with both bolts. Both bolts I actually cut a notch into and tried to get them out with heat and a big screwdriver and it just kept breaking the ears off that I cut. It broke those ears off almost immediately, making the bolt shorter and shorter and shorter to the finally the point where we only had just a, a tiny bit left. Uh, but we got them both out. Let me show you how we did it. The head is in an angle to the bolt, so welding on a nut right there uh, may not be the easiest thing to do because of the fact that it's not flush. So we decided that what we're going to do is uh, these were already notched and we notched them a little bit more and we're going to take an old screwdriver um, and we're going to actually weld it uh, right to this nut and kind of shave off the sides of the uh, of the screwdriver so that it doesn't contact the head when we're pulling it out uh, but before we did that we turn the head up on its end very similar to that right there. We took some of our favorite creeping oil uh, and we filled up the hole on the back side of the intake nut and we let it sit for about two days. Then we came back, we did it again. We actually did this three times. So over a seven day period, every two days we would come in and we would fill this hole with penetrant and we would just let it sit and start and creep. And you could actually see at the bottom here, you can see it right now, where as it weeps through, it actually formed back into a droplet and fell right onto the bench there. So we know that the creeping oil or that the penetrant is getting in there. And then to boot one time in between the three times that I had soaked it, I took a torch, I lightly heated up this area just to expand it just a little bit, not enough to really heat the head up, just to allow uh, a little bit more room to see if I could get the penetrant in there a little faster. And to be honest with you, I don't know if that made any difference or not. It was creeping through on a cold shop just fine. So then we went through and we welded up the screwdriver to it and this is what it looks like. After soaking this uh, for several days, you can actually see how wet it is right there from the penetrant coming through. So I know the penetrant has gotten in there, but I still am not going to be able to grab onto this bolt enough because it literally is flush right there. And this cut is stopping right there. So I can't even get the screwdriver all the way in. So I'm going to have to weld this thing somewhat sideways in order to get it in, but we're going to give it a shot. Cutting wheel and cut into that just a little bit more.
Okay, that's about as far as I uh, feel comfortable with going because I don't want to actually cut into the head here. So, in order to get the blade down in there a little bit more, I'm actually going to bevel. This is an old screwdriver. I'm actually going to bevel this just a little bit to kind of match the bevel right there. So I'm going to go knock that end off real quick. There we go. I beveled it just a little bit so that I can get down in there. And so that matches pretty well to where I want to be. So now I'm going to go ahead and weld it up and we'll see what we can get. But before, before, before I do that, I'm actually going to clean the bolt head. I need to remove the grease and stuff from the bolt head so that when I weld it, you, I get a better stick. I hit it with some brake cleaner. I'm just going to hit this real quick with a, with a brush. Now also, uh, there's a little bit of the gasket still on here too. That'll help keep some of the welding flash down from contacting it. And then I'm also uh, gonna just lightly put some oil right around the sides here so that I don't get a stick from the welder on the head. Just a little squeeze. Okay, I'm gonna finish kind of getting the weld down here. All right, I'm just using a standard propane torch, but I'm getting that blue flame right up that bolt hole to kind of heat up the metal around the bolt. And then I'm gonna shock that bolt one more time from the opposite side where I welded it, and we'll see if we can't get it out. I'm gonna turn off my torch. I'm gonna hit this bolt one more time. Kinda of get that cooled off. Get the pliers. And I've got this, I've got this at a little bit of an angle to the bolt. But we're just gonna go rock back and forth and see if we can't free that bolt up. doesn't feel like it wants to give. Doesn't feel like it wants to, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, let's go back and forth. And back and forth. So we can get this thing out of the way out. There we go. Look at all that corrosion right there. That is a ton of corrosion. And that is the bolt right there. All right, well, we got them out, and uh, so our little plan worked, and this is kind of what it looks like, uh, the bolt on the end of the screwdriver here. And uh, I think uh, I had welded the first one in and tried to turn it without doing the rest of the program that I had shown you, without trying the rest of the steps. The bolt literally just broke off right where the weld was. So. Uh, we tried. We decided to soak the bolts and shock the bolts, and uh, and then we got them out relatively easily. So I think that was actually the trick. This was just the means to getting it out. So try that on your next forehead or any head you have uh, to get your intake bolts out, and uh, and maybe you'll have success at it. And if you haven't already subscribed, think about subscribing. You know, it's a fun little shop. It's kind of like hanging out with your uh, with your friend next door, Chris and uh, hanging out with his uh, stupid projects that he's got going on, only you don't have to invest your money in it, just a little bit of time. That's a wrap from All Point 3 Garage. We're about to rebuild the transmission, so stick with us for the next episode.